Hi, Peter Charles here of Hooked for Life Fly Fishing. And today we're going to do another knot video. Uh, this time we're going to do the nailness, nail less, nail knot. Another one, I can't say fast. Uh, the benefit of this particular knot is twofold. First off, the technique used in doing this knot is similar to some other knots. So learning this one sort of gets you into uh, a few of the others, like the Uni or Duncan knot. Uh, the other thing, it's a good field repair, because what this uh, is uh, it's not as used for is to join a mono loop to the end of fly lines. And a lot of the lesser expensive fly lines on the market don't have welded loops. And some people don't even like welded loops. So you can join uh, the mono to the uh, fly line, the end of the fly line, using this knot. Most people use nail knots to do this, but this knot, the nailless nail knot, works just as well. Uh, it's just a little bit lumpier, that's all. It's a good field repair, and I've had that situation. Um, I was out with a friend on his boat. Uh, he had a pike leader with a very high breaking strain, ridiculously high breaking strain. He snagged up in a log that was about eight feet down, and there was no way he was getting his fly out of that. He had to break it off, and it broke right at the tip of the fly line. So um, I was able to do a nailless nail knot at the tip of his fly line to get him back fishing. So it, it you know, it, being able to do it as a field repair, if you end up in the middle of nowhere, your line breaks, you can join, you know, as long as you've got some thick mono with you, the butt section of a dry fly leader will do the job perfectly. And you can use this knot to do a field repair. So let's get started in looking at what the knots involved. Here's my fly line. And what we're gonna do is we've got, this is our mono, the black line is our mono, and we're gonna join this to the end of our fly line. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a loop first. And hold it against our fly line like that. And then you see what I've done. This is an important part. You can see how it's gonna cross over the, the main part of the line, the mono, and you just keep feeding it through the loop. Five times is good enough. Now you grab your tag and just pull. Smoothly pull, of course wetting it, of course. And there is or nailless nail knot. You can see you do have this lumpy bit here, but it's effective, it works quite well, it will hold quite well, uh, and it, as I say, great field repair, and you can do this as your regular mono to fly line connection. You don't have to learn the nail knot if you don't want to, you can use this knot, it works just fine. So, there's our nailless nail knot. I'm getting better at saying it. Uh, it's quite an effective knot for holding your, your mono to your to your fly tip of your fly line. Um, as I say, the uh, it's a good field repair too. You can learn the nail uh, the nail knot if you want, or you can just use this one all the time. Uh, it's, just, it's just as effective. It'll work just fine. So there we go, the nailless nail knot. Cheers.